Hey, hi. I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just hanging out with my little amphibic friend here and going over today's science file. And today's science file, it says, Why do amphibians need to live near water? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need a jar, some paper towel, and some food coloring. Today, I am going to show you how to test amphibic skin right at home. You know, because this is science that you can do at home. Science you can do right at home. Okay, you're going to start by getting yourself a jar, or a cup, or a bottle or a container of some sort that can contain liquid water. And you're gonna fill your cup, container, bottle, or jar with water. Next, you are gonna get yourself some paper towel. No, you, you can't substitute paper or a towel. It's gotta be a paper towel. And you're gonna form your paper towel into like a little cup thing, kinda like this. Now place your paper towel in the water so that you have a small little chamber of water. Next, you're gonna get yourself some food coloring. You're gonna drop one drop of food coloring into your water chamber. Oh, uh, uh, I'm using green. You know, because uh, frogs. Well, well, not all frogs are green, but you know, some, some frogs. Or two. Whoa, now check that out, so wicked cool! So, why can you see small amounts of the food coloring see through the paper towel? And what does this have to do with amphibian skin? Well, don't look at me, take a closer look at this. Amphibians are animals that live half their lives in water and half their lives on land. Although some amphibians, like mud puppies, live their whole lives in water, and some salamanders live their whole lives on land. Even though they can live their whole lives on land, they still have to live in a wet environment. You might think that amphibians breathe using their lungs, but 50% of the oxygen they get into their bodies passes through their skin. Amphibians have to keep their bodies moist, otherwise they would dry up and die from suffocation. Some salamanders don't have lungs at all and rely entirely on their skin to get oxygen into their bodies. Amphibian skin is slimy for several reasons, such as avoiding capture, but the slime also keeps their bodies from drying out too quickly. The slime also makes it easier for oxygen to pass through their skin, as well as regulate the amount of water that passes into their bodies. In fact, most amphibians don't even need to drink water because they absorb most of the water their body needs right through their skin. 80% of all amphibians are frogs and toads. So now you know more about amphibians. You know, being able to test amphibian skin right at home is why science is so cool.